I am currently the state representative for District 40 um, in Jefferson County, which includes the University of Louisville, Churchill Downs, um, Shively, and parts of South Louisville. And it is a very diverse district that I'm very honored to represent. You know, one of the interesting stories about how I got here is I ran against a 21 year incumbent in 2018 um, and I beat him. I beat him pretty handily because I think folks were ready for a change. Um, and I think that's something that I've tried to do every single day. Uh, anytime there's an issue that arises, certainly anything in the district, I wanna hear from constituents. I reach out to them with surveys and phone calls and emails. Um, and and it's, it's kind of, you know, it's kept me busy, it's kept everyone busy because you've got to be super engaged with your people, with your constituents and your voters, and just people that are, that are having issues. On another note, my day job is as an immigration attorney. So how I got here is because immigration law is very policy driven and policy is political, you know, when you get right down to it. So immigration laws and policies have always either expanded or contracted based on who's in charge. One of the things that was struck me um, having practiced immigration law for so long is that immigrants have to have a seat at the table if there's going to be any change that's ever made in terms of progress, moving forward, um, having our voices heard. And I think that's what led me to become involved in politics, to see what candidates um, you know, have to say about immigration. Are you there to help folks? Are you there to not help folks? And I didn't think in Kentucky, even though I mentioned I'm the first immigrant to be elected there, I didn't think immigration would be such a huge issue in Kentucky. And, and we need to really understand who we are and where we are and what we are working towards, because we're going to have to work towards it together. I am so supportive of refugees. I think they have gone through the worst that we can possibly imagine and have, have come here and made a life with, uh, with help from organizations like yours. And, and we need to make sure that we really embrace them, make them part of our community.